Who are environmental refugees? Let's try searching for environmental refugees online. There are articles saying that governments and companies around the world made social contributions for environmental refugees. Why are so many countries and companies doing this? That's because the issue of environmental refugees is not a regional issue of a particular country, but a global issue affecting the whole world. The term refugee was first defined in the 1951 Refugee Convention adopted by the United Nations in Geneva. But now, more than 70 years later, the definition of refugees is changing. This is because there are more environmental refugees who are forced to leave their homes due to natural phenomena such as rising water levels, desertification, drought, flooding, and tidal waves than due to racial, religious, ideological, or political reasons. These people are called environmental refugees. Recently, the number of refugees who are forced to leave their homes is increasing rapidly due to climate change. In 2009, the International Organization for Migration issued a report to the 15th Conference of the Parties to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change that natural disasters caused by climate change will result in up to 1 billion refugees in 2050. In about 30 years, 15% of the world's population will be environmental refugees unless something unexpected happens. The beautiful island countries in the South Pacific show us a glimpse of paradise. But these beautiful island countries, Tuvalu, Kiribati, Maldives, and Fiji, are in danger of being submerged under the sea due to rising sea level. In Tuvalu, the highest elevation in the entire country measures only 5 meters above sea level, which is lower than the height of breakwaters. In the near future, the entire country will be submerged. Floods are also a major concern. As the sea surface temperature rises due to global warming, more water evaporates, increasing the rate of flooding. Bangladesh is a representative example. 60% of the land in Bangladesh is 5 meters above sea level. 80% of the total land experiences flooding. Droughts also pose a serious problem. Due to floods caused by global warming, the amount of rainfall has not been even across the different regions, causing droughts in certain areas. Kenya's severe drought has caused 3.5 million refugees. Global warming has shortened the rainy season and worsened the drought a combination which led to the worst food shortage. Three and a half million Kenyan refugees have left their homes where food and drinking water have disappeared. They are faced with the challenge of making ends meet in a foreign place. Ironically, the existential crisis facing the environmental refugees was not caused by them. The excessive consumption and wastefulness that have become part of our lifestyle have brought the threat of survival that environmental refugees face. The submerging of Tuvalu, the flooding of Bangladesh, and the drought in Kenya seem to have nothing to do with us at first glance. But the truth is that we have all individually contributed to the cause that is climate change. The issue of environmental refugees is something that all of us who have contributed to climate change should work together to solve. At the global level, we have to pay back our ecological debt to the environmental refugees.